Picture this, it's a quiet evening, and you find yourself nestled in the cozy corner of your living room, the dim glow of the television casting soft shadows across the room. The year is 1976, and you've just stumbled upon a movie titled All the President's Men. Little did you know, this cinematic masterpiece would soon etch itself into your memory, becoming a timeless classic that forever altered your perception of journalism, politics, and the pursuit of truth. As you settled in, the screen came to life, drawing you into the gripping tale of Washington Post reporters Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein as they unraveled the Watergate scandal. Their relentless pursuit of the truth, the tension-filled newsroom, and the hushed conversations in underground parking garages all left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. Perhaps it was the remarkable performances by Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman seamlessly bringing these real-life heroes to the silver screen. Or maybe it was the impeccable direction of Alan J. Pacula that held you spellbound. Every scene, every line of dialogue, and every twist and turn of the plot held you captive reminding you of the power of investigative journalism in a world filled with secrets. Now, as you reflect on that first encounter with all the president's men, you can't help but recall the adrenaline rush of piecing together the puzzle alongside Woodward and Bernstein. The movie ignited your curiosity and instilled in you a deep appreciation for the relentless pursuit of truth, no matter the obstacles. But before we delve deeper into the cinematic world of this iconic film, Let's uncover some fascinating random facts that will make you appreciate it even more. Strap in for a journey through the lesser known facets of all the president's men and prepare to be amazed by the magic that unfolded both on and off the screen. And so, with memories of that unforgettable movie night still fresh in your mind, let's embark on this intriguing exploration together. It's time to shine a light on the hidden gems and untold stories behind all the president's men, a tale that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Stay tuned, for the truth is out there, waiting to be uncovered, just like the secrets in the Watergate scandal. It's a story that deserves to be told, and we're about to tell it. All the President's Men, released in 1976, is a riveting political thriller directed by Alan J. Pakula. The film is based on the real-life Watergate scandal, chronicling the investigative efforts of Washington Post journalists Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, portrayed by Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman, respectively. Their pursuit of the truth surrounding the break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters leads them to uncover a web of corruption and cover-ups within the Nixon administration. The movie stands out for its meticulous attention to detail, and a realistic portrayal of the journalistic process, capturing the essence of investigative journalism with its painstaking research and source building. Its iconic characters, Woodward and Bernstein, exemplify the dedication and determination required to uncover political wrongdoing. The film's unique style blends suspense and documentary-like storytelling, making it both an engaging thriller and an exploration of the role of journalism in holding those in power accountable. The use of dimly lit newsrooms and typewriters reinforces the era's atmosphere and the relentless nature of their investigation. All the President's Men had a significant impact on popular culture, inspiring a new generation of journalists and emphasizing the importance of a free press in a democratic society. It received critical acclaim and multiple Academy Awards, solidifying its place as a classic political drama that continues to resonate, reminding us of the power of investigative journalism in safeguarding democracy. In summary, All the President's Men is a gripping cinematic masterpiece that delves into the Watergate scandal through the eyes of two determined journalists. With its authentic portrayal of investigative journalism, iconic characters, unique style, and enduring impact, it remains a compelling and relevant piece of cinema. In the 1976 movie All the President's Men, the scene involving lawyer Donald Segretti introduced the term ratfucking to the public. This term refers to using political sabotage or dirty tricks to win elections. Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, the film's central characters, helped popularize this term. Originally, ratfucking was used at the University of Southern California to describe the methods employed by student organizations to win student elections. Interestingly, Donald Segretti and other college students from USC later worked as Republican staffers during the Nixon era, where they utilized similar tactics to sabotage Democratic political campaigns. 
This political thriller also ties to the revelation of Deep Throat, a crucial Watergate informant. On May 31, 2005, Mark Felt, the deputy director of the FBI during the Watergate break-in, publicly acknowledged for the first time that he was Deep Throat. This revelation came ahead of a July 2005 Vanity Fair article written by his attorney and spokesman, confirming his identity. Bob Woodward and the Washington Post corroborated this fact. Felt's role as Deep Throat played a pivotal part in uncovering the Watergate scandal, as depicted in the film. In a fascinating connection to real-life events, Robert Redford, one of the movie's stars, had a personal encounter with Richard Nixon. When Redford was just 13 years old, he received an award for his athletic prowess from Nixon, who would later become the President of the United States. Even at that young age, Redford found Nixon to be rather unsettling, a sentiment that adds an intriguing layer to his involvement in all the President's men. These historical ties and revelations add depth to the 1976 movie All the President's Men, making it not only a captivating thriller, but also a connection to real events that shook the nation. In the 1976 movie All the President's Men, there is a notable ending sequence. The film closes with close-up shots of news articles being printed on a teletype, creating a sense of real-time news unfolding. These reports are shown in a non-sequential order, spanning into 1975, and culminate with a pivotal report from August 1974, President Nixon resigns. This powerful ending captures the urgency and significance of the Watergate scandal and its impact on American politics. Additionally, during the making of the film, actors Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford spent months immersing themselves in the world of journalism. They sat in on news conferences and observed the inner workings of the Washington Post offices. This hands-on approach helped them portray their characters, journalists Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, with authenticity. Interestingly, the film's director, Alan J. Pakula, and lead actor, Robert Redford, were initially dissatisfied with the screenplay written by William Goldman. Even the real Woodward and Bernstein were not pleased with it. In response, Bernstein collaborated with his then-girlfriend Nora Ephron to produce an alternative draft, but Redford rejected this version as well. To improve the script, Redford and Pacula conducted extensive research, spending full days interviewing newspaper editors and reporters, ensuring the film's accuracy and authenticity. All the President's Men remains a gripping and accurate portrayal of the Watergate scandal and the investigative journalism that helped uncover it. Its ending sequence, with the teletype printing key news reports, is a memorable cinematic representation of the unfolding events surrounding President Nixon's resignation. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey that is all the President's Men, let's take a moment to pause and reflect on the profound impact this 1976 masterpiece has had on our understanding of journalism, power, and the relentless pursuit of truth. This gripping thriller, based on the real-life events surrounding the Watergate scandal, is a timeless reminder of the essential role journalism plays in holding those in power accountable. As you reminisce about the characters' relentless determination, their unwavering commitment to uncovering the truth, consider how this narrative might resonate with your own life. Perhaps you've been inspired by Woodward and Bernstein's journalistic integrity, motivating you to seek truth and justice in your own endeavors. Or maybe you've been captivated by the film's portrayal of the intricate web of deceit, prompting you to question the institutions and systems in your own world. Whatever the case, we invite you to share your thoughts and memories of all the President's men. Tell us about the moments that left you in awe, the characters who stayed with you, or the lessons you've carried forward. Engage in this collective reflection, for it is through our shared experiences that the impact of this cinematic masterpiece endures. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane and for your unwavering support of cinema that challenges and inspires. Your thoughts matter, your memories are valuable, and your presence is appreciated. Until next time, keep exploring the worlds of film and culture, and keep those discussions alive. With gratitude.